So I'm supposed to get excited about Thor finding his Fifi's, not having any action in it, and meeting She-Thor. Noise! That's right, it's your main man Z here from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I'm here to break down a little bit of Thor Love and Thunder and explain to you why this trailer does not have me excited at all whatsoever. So what we're talking about is the fourth Thor movie, folks. Do you remember Thor? He's been in just about every single MCU movie. Age of Ultron, The Avengers, Avengers Endgame. There's been a lot of character development with Thor. Yet, for some reason, we need backwards Thor character development. Someone please explain to me what's going on here. We start off with Thor running as a small boy. We have him running as a slightly larger boy. And then we have him running into a pseudo-adult. And then into fire. If I recall correctly... Thor's already dealt with his troubled childhood with his brother Loki several times, in fact. In case you don't remember, Thor 1, he was banished so that he could rediscover who he was. And in Thor 2, he lost his girlfriend so he could rediscover who he was. In Thor 3, he went to a prison camp so he could discover who he was. In, Avenger in Age of Ultron, he left to go swim in a hot tub so he could discover who he was. He also left... <laughs> he also left in Endgame to find out who he was because he lost his hammer, if you don't recall. So now Thor is leaving again to discover who he is because he does not know who he is. Now, if you recall correctly, this is the Avenger who decided to end... Uh, Thanos' peaceful existence by throwing a hammer through his head and decapitating the Purple Man. Purple Man bad. Now he buries the hatchet. Literally already buried the hatchet in Thanos' head. But now he's just burying the hatchet. A little confused here. Please explain more. So now he's going to become, instead of Fat Thor, he'll be Hippie Thor, sitting at the edge of a cliff, meditating on his bonsai tree. Very interesting. I'd like to know more. I'm also a little confused as to why he has blue eyes again. Because if I recall correctly, he lost one of his eyes to his sister. And I'm pretty sure they put in a fake robotic eye, but now it's blue again. Very confused. He's going from Fat, uh, fat Thor and he's going to become th Thin Thor again. So if I really wanted to watch a movie about high cardio reps and um yeah i don't think i need that movie i mean this visually looks kind of interesting but again what's going on here you know what i am kind of excited for guardians of the galaxy i'd love to see them i'd love to see them i would love to see more in fact it seems like thor goes to here to get he's a. Uh, going to fight with them i guess he's showing off that he's thin thor so we're not even going to get like a shirtless in shape thor i don't know but there looks like they're you know the guardians of the galaxy probably freeing a world from slavery or indentured servitude probably bringing peace to a planet and thor's like nah brah i'm a pacifist now i don't do those things he turns his back on them and leaves probably at their worst moment. Seems kind of selfish. Aren't we tired of seeing Thor be selfish? I thought he found himself to be worthy of Mjolnir by putting other people's needs ahead of his. Still confused, friends. There's Korg looking absolutely dreadful CGI. What's going on here? A little confused. I mean, I like his hot pants, but can we do a little bit better here, friends? And this movie's coming in July. We only got three months of promotion. I don't know about you, but are you excited about flying horses on water? Pulling a boat? Not sure if I am. Pretty generic looking CGI? Not super interested in that either. Riding a boat? With swinging women? 
Sure, Thor, you make out with swinging women. <laughs> what is this? What is going on? Is that a dream that he's having? Not sure what's going on here. Uh, we have him, you know, smiling like the slow boy that he might be now, just lighting the way with his hammer. Highly confusing here. Looks real exciting, let me tell you. What is going on here? More CGI nonsense. Oh, and I thought this looked kind of ridiculous. For those of you who don't know, spoiler alert, just a little teeny tiny one. If you didn't know, Russell Crowe is in this and Russell Crowe is holding a plastic lightning bolt as Zeus. Pretty exciting, right? Absolutely. Oh wait, is Thor gonna fight in another tournament? Just like in the last one that was directed by Taika Waititi? Hmm, confusion. Looks like they're fighting, I don't know. Little confused. I don't know what's going on here. And then the biggest reveal of all. I mean, that's kind of a cool image. I, I like that. But what, Corrigan and, and Thor are going to go around the world just buddying it up? Hanging out? Doing nothing? Who knows? New Asgard? Oh, this is one of my favorite spots where, you know, the warrior... Valkyrie princess or whatever she wants to call herself these days there's nothing more off-putting than someone chewing loudly in a meeting <laughs> what is going on here it's King Thor did you know that there's gonna be multiple Thors in this that's what you're gonna get lots of Thors even though Thor is technically Thor Odinson Thor is his name it's not a title it's not like a title he gave himself like spider-man or Iron Man, this is his birth name. So calling other people Thor is like calling other people Peter for no reason. A little confused, but I shall continue. Again, we get to see Olympus. Looks real exciting. Ah, uh, and then we get one of the our favorite moments here. Again, I do love Guardians, and I'm very excited to see the next Guardian movies, Peter Quill. I guess you could just name yourself Peter. Name anyone Peter. Everyone, Peter. But he, Peter says, uh, when I'm staring at my friend, uh, the only way I like bring myself out of things is if I stare at the people I love. And for some reason, Thor is eyeballing him back. I mean, was I supposed to laugh at this? Is this supposed to be funny? I don't know. I, I'm seeing the scene out of context, but this trailer did not make me laugh. You know, a little confused, if anything. And what I remember the last time Peter and Thor interacted, wasn't Thor making fun of uh, Peter Quill and being like, I'm the better leader. I'd make a better match of being a Ravager. Uh, again, confused. I didn't think they loved each other. So whatever, whatever, man. Still confused. By the way, the choice of music seemed a little strange. And my co-conspirator, Noob Noob, has a theory about this. Now, the music that's playing is Guns N' Roses' Sweet Child of Mine, and he's saying that this is Thor Love and Thunder, and that maybe there are baby Thors all over the world, and Thor is going around to collect his children, his illegitimate children that he left. Maybe that's what they're going for here? He said he'll be very disappointed if that's not what's happening. I think it's a little strange for a plot point to be go collecting your illegitimate children, but but Zeus is involved, and Zeus did have many illegitimate children, so it's distinctly possible. But looks like Mjolnir makes a cameo, and guess who's going to hold Mjolnir next? You'll be shocked and awed. It's She-Thor. I never thought I'd be so excited to see... Is that Natalie Portman? I don't know. I guess it is. I mean, it's supposed to be. Now, last time we saw Natalie Portman holding the hammer, she could barely hold it up, and that was made of, like, fiberglass. So she clearly bulked up. Or are they doing exactly what they did in the last Black Widow movie, where they just CGI a woman's head onto a man's body? They've done it before. They'll probably do it again. Wouldn't be surprised. I am highly confusion about this. Not really looking forward to it. It's got 12 million views in about six hours and 1 million upvotes. 
I'd be curious to see what the down votes are, but you know, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. What do you think? Are you excited for this? Do you think this is get woke, go broke territory? Or do you think this is an exciting new step in the MCU? Or M is it the MCU? I don't know. I am confusion until I see it. I can tell you this much. From my opinion, I am not excited. Poor music choice. Usually the music in the trailer is some sort of connection to what you're seeing on the screen, whether lyrically or uh, there's some sort of them theme in the music. I didn't get any of that, so I don't really understand what's going on there. And then on top of all of this, you've got zero action sequences in a Marvel movie. Do you remember the No Way Home trailer with Spider-Man where he's fighting Dr. Octopus and you're like, damn, he's fighting Doc Ock. There's nothing. There's literally not one scene of action in this. Very confusing. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe to our podcast. It's free. iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places. Absolutely free for you to download. We do a full-length audio podcast that we live stream here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, do all those great things. It's how we grow the channel. We really appreciate you. And we have giveaways that we give away digital codes for movies. We actually have a new one coming out. For Spider-Man No Way Home, be sure to check that out as we give it away. Listen and win. And check us out on Instagram. Thank you so much for making it this far. And uh, as for myself, I am on to the next one. Uh -huh.